All right, what I've got here is something to warm you up on a winter night. This is uh, oven braised pork and winter vegetable stew. Now it's oven braised, which is fantastic because it means that you don't have to sit there and watch it cooking on the stove. You know, it takes two hours to cook. You put it in the oven, you walk away. You leave it cooking for two hours all by itself. You have to do nothing to that two hours. And that's what makes this fantastic because you can set this up like on a Sunday afternoon, have fun, play games, watch TV, whatever. And then you're going to have this, look at this, thick, delicious braised stew with pieces of pork and all these winter vegetables like carrots and potatoes and onions and mm, a little bit of red wine in here. Let's go in the kitchen and make some of this right now. Mmm, mm -hmm. yeah, you want to make this. All right, so the first part of our stew is getting the meat cooked. After it's gonna add in vegetables and things, we'll bring those in later. What I'm gonna do here, first of all, is I've got two pounds of uh, pork, and I've cut it into bite-sized pieces. Everything's gonna be bite-sized pieces in this recipe. Uh, I've got a quarter cup of butter, I've got a quarter cup of flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of pepper. We're gonna dredge this in flour, salt, and pepper. But before I do that, let's get that butter going. So we put the butter, we've got today, we've got our large cast iron pot because it's oven proof. We want something that's oven proof. Uh, you can use like a cop core or something like that, anything, an enameled, something that can go in the oven. So no wooden handles or anything like that. What we're gonna do now is gonna turn that up on medium heat and get that butter melting. All right, we'll get that going. And while that's happening, I'm gonna mix the Salt and pepper to the flour a little bit, add the meat, and then I'm gonna toss it around until it's all coated in flour. If you wanna know more about dredging and uh, you, you know, using flour and butter and stuff to thicken uh, stews and things, see the uh, Kitchen Tech video. Um, the URL is down below, and I go over it there more in depth as to, so you can use this in all kinds of different recipes. All right, so see, we're getting that coated. Great, butter's melting. The butter has uh, just melted. The uh, meat is all dredged with flour, so now I just toss it all in here. And what I do, cook this on medium heat for eight to 10 minutes. Every once in a while, just stirring this, flipping around, so we get a bit of even browning all around and also cooking that flour. All right, I'll see you in about eight to 10 minutes. All right, that's been cooking for just a little over eight, nine minutes, close to 10 minutes actually. And yeah, look, we've got some nice browning going on there. Beautiful, a little bit stuck to the bottom. That's perfect because we're gonna deglaze that right now with some red wine. So what I've got here is one cup of red wine one 15 ounce can of chicken stock. I have here two um, onions. <laughs> Sorry, the Japanese word for came up in my head. Onions, uh, two onions chopped into, yeah, just coarsely chopped into like bite-sized chunks. Um, just about two, two large carrots, which is about three quarters of a pound or 340 grams of carrot and also cut just in the chunks and then here I've got a pound or 450 grams of potatoes also cut into big bite-sized chunks all are going to go in here so first I'm going to put in the red wine let's put it about half because I just want to deglaze that bottom so just scrape across the bottom oh that smells good and all this is doing is removing any burn bits off the bottom little burn bits brown bits Beautiful. This adds a lot of flavor. This is where the gravy is coming from. We can already see it thickening up there. So in goes the rest of the red wine. In goes the potatoes, the carrots, the onions. <laughs> this is going to be a really tight fit, but it doesn't really matter because it's all going into the oven. It's going to cook in there. It's going to cook down and it's all going to be kind of steaming in its own juices in there. 
And when we bring it out of the oven, it's going to be cooked down. It's going to be beautiful. All right, let's get these guys out of the way. All right, so we've got our uh, chicken stock. We're going to pour that in there. Now, I'm using my favorite cast iron pan, which comes with the, uh, the uh, fry pan that also doubles as a lid. Let me turn that heat off now. That's going to go in the oven. You know, the oven is uh, just preheating. It's just about ready at 350 degrees uh, Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. Going to put it in there for two hours. And it's just going to cook. And the thing is, for two hours, you don't have to worry about it. You could be making a salad. You could be sitting back drinking red wine. You could be watching a movie or something. Um, you know, it's just, this is a great thing to do like on a Sunday afternoon. Fire this up. And just leave it in there while you do other things. And then uh, get a great dinner that night. All right, so we'll see you when this comes out of the oven. All right, that's uh, been cooking for two hours and the oven is steaming hot. Let's see what we got underneath. Oh, yes. Beautifully cooked. Everything's looking nice and soft. And what we're going to do now is just kind of mix it up a little bit. Because we, we've got the, some of the vegetables on top, the meat's down and below. Oh, look at that. Can you see that thick gravy? Oh, that's a beautiful stew. All right, so let's mix that around a little bit. And there we go. Br oven braised pork and winter vegetable stew. Just get that off to one side. Ooh, don't touch that. That's hot. <laughs> All right, let's serve some of that up. So look at that. This is just a hearty, beautiful thing to have a winter dish. Okay. A little bit of all those vegetables on there, all that meat. Mmm, it's got a little bit on top there. Look at that. Oh, we put a little bit more of that sauce over there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then, you know what's just really good with is uh, get yourself some kind of a rustic bread, like a baguette or some rye bread or something. And then you've got this to dunk into the uh, stew sauces, the juices. Delicious. Don't waste any juices. You know what we do in Europe is always we... As we get to the bottom of the plate, the way we clean the plate is you take a piece of bread and sop up anything that's left. And that's just absolutely delicious. So enjoy this winter stew. Now, if you go to the link appearing on the screen, you get the free printable recipe for oven braised pork and winter vegetable stew on our website. Remember to check out about dredging. Our, we have our kitchen tech video that shows you about dredging and why and how it thickens up your stews. And you can get that at our Patreon feed. So go print out the recipe, have fun making and eating this winter stew, and make cooking fun again with Kuma's Kitchen.